Russia against Samoa in Pool A. It's their second game. They're the first team to get through uh, a second game for Samoa. It's the opening game for them. Uh, you can see Russia are in fourth. Uh, in Pool A at the moment with no wins, no draws, but the one loss. Samoa yet to get off the board, but um, in the middle between Scotland, Russia at the bottom, and uh, Ireland, Japan at the top. So, uh, pretty important game for Samoa uh, to get a win here. Um, people have been talking up the Japan-Scotland thing, but Samoa kind of has been a wee bit out of that conversation, so... Uh, a good performance here would perhaps put them back into that, but maybe sneaking under the radar is something they would like to do. So I guess we'll see. Uh, I think the Russians impressed more than a lot of us thought they would against Japan in the opening game. So hopefully they can kind of push on as well and, uh, you know, get some more exposure for, for the Russians uh, playing rugby union. It's going to be a good thing. Uh, I'll put the teams in the description so you guys can uh, check them out. But essentially... The Russians played on Friday, and this game's on Tuesday. So it's four days rest, and then they're back into it. So they're definitely going to change their whole squad up and, um, you know, bring on all the fresh guys. Except they've named an unchanged lineup. Exactly the same team that played Japan four days later is going gonna, is gonna to run out again to a man. I think uh, they did say the loosehead Morosov uh, is going to have to pass a fitness test today. Uh, being Monday because he had some kind of strain but apart from that it's unchanged and interestingly uh, if you look at the minutes they played in that game against Japan uh, everybody who started played at least an hour nobody was sub before an hour the whole front row played 60 plus minutes like I think it was like 62 64 67 uh, the second row was all played 80 minutes um, the reserve lock which is Andre Garabusov he was he didn't get off the bench he was unused substitute which seems madness uh he was quoted as saying after the first game we got tired by the 50th minute uh probably it was worth making more substitutions between the 50 and 60th minute but that's up to the coaches to decide so they didn't make any substitutions between the 50 and 60th and he himself didn't get off the bench so i don't know if that's him giving his coach some advice to say hey man use the bench a wee bit more use it earlier but they will have to manage the fitness thing against Samoa because if they are still tired, which they will be, uh, Samoa has got some guys who can definitely cut them to bits if they're going to got heavy legs. So, um, yeah, uh, it will be an interesting one. Uh, like I said, they didn't use uh, Garabusov, but there were still some good performers. I mean, uh, Jivatov, the lure, the, um, the blindside flanker, made 11 out of 12 tackles, got a couple of turnovers. Um, Golanitsky got the opening try and he had six defenders beaten so there's definitely some Russian guys who I think a lot of us are seeing you know for the first time or you know recently haven't seen them a whole lot so it's good to see these guys in action I guess the good thing about them playing twice quickly is you get to refresh on uh, that knowledge of the Russian rugby but yeah uh, for the Samoans first game so they should be totally fit they've made five changes from the team which played australia in the uh warm-ups so uh you got the likes of tin nano williams at fullback and that guy is um i mean he's getting on but he's still a bit of an excitement machine player uh fidel and uh tuala on the wings tuala has moved up from the bench from that australia game so he is one of the five changes same midfield in lilo and leua uh, Tusi PC remains at number 10. That guy is like 37, so whether he plays a full 80 uh, will be an interesting one to watch as well. Uh, Paula Taivau also comes in at number 9. He was on the bench for the last game. Uh, in the forwards, there's no Jack Lamb. He got an eye injury in that last game. I think he had a clash with Leua. So he's not in the squad for this one. He's kind of resting up to make sure he is all good. So Chris Vui comes in at 6, and he is captain. TJ Iwane moves to number seven from six interesting one because he's not really a natural seven from what i've seen of him at least back when he used to play in super rugby but still i guess we'll see uh i'm also still there at eight Leo pepe at five paulo at four ala alatoa at three these are all the same as that last game matu uh is up from the bench at hooker and uh mulipola is also at loose head up from the bench so yeah man it's a it's a pretty good looking uh Samoan team it's certainly more familiar to me than the Russian team but that just kind of makes sense given that New Zealand connection with a lot of these guys having played Mighty 10 Cup Super Rugby and whatnot so 
yeah, I'll be excited, uh, excited to see how these guys go. Uh, rugby forecast, the algorithm says, you know, these teams have never played before, so it's kind of hard to get historical data. But uh, the algorithm still has Samoa by 18 points, so predicted to be relatively comfortable winners, more than two tries anyway. Uh, bookmakers, though, have got Samoa by 29, so even one step further than what the computer algorithm has got them by. So yeah, should be an interesting game. I think ideally for Samoa, kind of goes without saying, a bonus point win would be nice. But given that Japan only beat Russia 30 points to 10, that's definitely not a given that it's going to happen. I think if one thing is in Samoa's favor, it is the fact that the Russian guys only played, you know, on, on Friday and will only have four days rest. So 60 minutes to 80 minutes will probably be telling if there's a chance for them to exploit a fitness gap. Uh, it'll be there and potentially Samoa could uh, run away with the game. But as always, I always hope that it's a, it's a close game. Uh, the Russian guys certainly put their hands up against Japan and a you know, tough prospect to face the host in the opening game, but uh, they certainly gave a good account of themselves, so I also kind of hope that they will do the same here. You guys let me know your thoughts on this one. How do you think it is going to go? And I'll talk to you again soon. See you later.